Welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at two different styles of concentration questions. So, calculate the mass of sodium chloride in 50 centimeters cubed of a 0.2 molar solution. Now, we have a solution and we want to know what mass of sodium chloride is dissolved in it. For that, we need two equations. Moles equals concentration times volume over a thousand and moles equals mass over relative formula mass. Remember that the units for concentration should be moles per dm cubed, volume should be in centimeters cubed, and mass should be in grams. Okay, since we want to work out the mass, that means we need to work out the relative formula mass, which we can do using the periodic table. But we also need to know the number of moles. However, since they haven't given us number of moles, we have to work it out. We've been given concentration and volume, so we can use these to work out number of moles. Once we've worked out number of moles, we can then transfer it to this equation and work out mass. So, concentration 0.2, volume 50 divided by 1000 gives us 0.01 moles. As for the relative formula mass, we can simply add the mass of sodium with chlorine and that will give us 58.5. So, we can now use these values in our equation. Next, we can rearrange this to make mass a subject and the answer should be 0 0.585 grams. Okay, pause the video and read this question. This is a style of dilution question. So we have a solution of 1.3 moles per dm cubed. We're going to transfer a certain volume from that solution into a beaker and then mix it with water to produce a 0 0.65 molar solution with a volume of 250 centimeters cubed. Let's say the amount that we transfer has a certain number of moles. For example, six. We know that all of these moles are going to be present in the final solution. So we can say that the amount we transfer and the final solution have the same number of moles. In other words, concentration times volume before and concentration times volume after will be the same. Or we can say C1V1 will be equal to C2V2. So now all we have to do is fill out this equation. V1 is the volume that we're going to transfer. This is the initial concentration. And C2 and V2 are over here. So we're going to put these values into the equation to give us 1.3 times X equals 0 0.65 times 250. Then we're going to solve for X and get a volume of 125 centimeters cubed. So that is the volume that we have to transfer from the original solution to the final solution. If you found this useful, watch the next video on dilutions. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.